it is always sold as a huge economic boom to the city. Right. Is it really? Uh, no, it's it's a nice little short-term boost, maybe. Uh, we talked to Mark Heberlig at the uh, University of North Carolina, Charlotte, who's actually written, literally written the book about the impact, economic impact of political conventions on cities. And it's the, the, the it's a short-term boost, but it may not really be much of a boost at all because the way that these economic impact reports are written up, they act as if absolutely zero activity would happen if the convention weren't there on a given weekend. And so the impact, uh, the, the only information we have from the Charlotte Regional Visitors Authority was that the Democratic convention had an impact of about $163 million dollars on Charlotte during the weekend the convention was there. Now, that doesn't compare with what a normal weekend of economic activity would be in uptown Charlotte. So uh, it could be, you know, we, we, I'm sure it's more than that would be, but there are the other costs involved too. First of all, every convention gets a commitment of $50 million of taxpayer money from the federal government to handle security. So there's a taxpayer cost to that initially of $50 million, wherever it's held. Right. Okay. Secondly, there's the problem of having the the sort of the security zone set up around the convention area. There are a lot of restaurants around um, the uh, the the Carolina Panther Stadium and also around uh, the uh, the Spectrum Center, which is where the nominating and acceptance speeches will be made. Some of those restaurants are going to do really well. Others are going to have to be shut down because there's going to be a security perimeter.